So what's your name and which cohort are you on? My name is Tatiana. I am on the actual first cohort. Um, how long has it been since you started? I think we actually started one week and a half. But at first, because we start from the middle of the week, so the first week is more, more like a preparation. And the hard, actual hard work started on uh, last week, I would say. But we are working hard from the day one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are you from? I'm from Belarus originally, but I am living in the UK for eight years, actually. Um, what did you do before you joined Boolean? Um, I used to work in, uh, I used to do quite a lot of admin jobs. I also have a marketing experience back when I used to live in Belarus. I also was working in an advertising company, so nothing related to the coding, like nothing. Did you ever have a chance or have you done any coding before Boolean um, or is you brand, were you brand new? Well, I like to think of myself as a brand new. <laughs> the reason why I was doing a little bit of coding by myself, but it's, you kind of getting completely lost from where you should start, what exactly you should do. And I am the lucky one because my, I have my husband from the technology industry himself and i also have a lot of friends still everyone has their own style <laughs> someone was telling me like start with html and css my husband for example knows start from the like back end you are getting lost so lost um, and also the tempo which you are studying it's not like completely what, what, what i learned in the past week <laughs> You know, at the Boolean course, it's just incredible compared to what I was doing on my own. What made you decide to become a software engineer? Well, one of the main reasons, I guess I always kind of wanted to change my career, what, what I was doing, but I never had the massive reason to do. So I was like, oh yeah, maybe, maybe I'm going to think about it tomorrow, you know. But when the uh, pandemic started, so first I was putting on furlough and then um, I kind of had a feeling that, you know, the things are not gonna go back to normal as quick as uh, I think we all were hoping for and that's when I decided like hmm, it would be actually nice to do something else and uh, my husband keep wanted to introduce me to the coding for a very long time and then I was like yeah sure let me try and um, what would you say has been the most challenging thing you've done so far so far for me personally that was a CSS grid <laughs> I don't know why, but it just didn't want to stuck in my head at the beginning. But then I realized that I actually learned a very important lesson that you must stress because I was trying to push myself so hard last week. So I was sitting like at, uh, until 11 p.m., until midnight sometimes. It's not like we're supposed to, but no, but I was feeling like, oh my God, oh my God, I need to get it. I don't want to be behind. But what I was doing, I was putting so much pressure and my brain was like, no, that's it. I'm done. I'm switching. I, I'm basically like, I don't care what do you want to do right now. I'm going to sleep. And I think because of that, I wasted quite a lot of unnecessary time instead of resting, just trying to push it. Um, mm. be, be, just because uh, on the last weekend was long weekend. And uh, after two days, I, I decided I'm going to have a completely two days break. And after two days, I uh, well, basically I start to code again. And it took me like, what, maybe one hour just to, head and to, to give my head and to put like everything in the places where it should be. And I was like, huh, that's actually great. So yeah, the hard part for me was CSS grid. Um, where are you hoping to get to or where do you think you'll be by the end? At the end of these six months, I can definitely feel that I would be ready for just go there, hold the world, find the future company that I would love to work for or who would love to work with me. What's your favorite thing to do when you're not coding? Oh, <laughs> um, I really love the good TV shows and movies. So whenever I have time or if I'm cooking or cleaning, some people like to listen to music, I'm just going to put my favorite TV show like Friends or The Big Bang Theory, something that I'm really familiar with, something which is just entertaining me so I don't need to distract myself and uh, keep on uh, look on the screen, for example, and know what's going on so I can just hear and I know already what's going on. From not to 10, uh, how much are you enjoying uh, your time at Boone? Oh, it's 110. It's definitely, I can even give you 11. Oh. <laughs>